Hello Blogoneers, today we're going to do another Finder Seekers playthrough. And this one's about national parks, so it's kind of like an escape room. Alright, do we start now? Yep. yep. So, so what's in the envelope was the national parks with facts and puzzles. And here is the star pattern that we use later. And there was a letter, and for my legacy, where you can put the, where you put the uh, messages that you get from the national parks, and you put it in, and there were some cards, a Great Smoky Mountains double-sided card, which is a puzzle, and then a ruler, and a pen flashlight. It's just a flashlight. No, it's a pen flashlight. Okay. Yeah, flashlight pen, whatever. And now we're going to start. Okay, so first so we where do we start? the letter. Do we do... Okay. Well, we already read the letter. Though. Oh, yeah, we read this. The My yes. Legacy. Dear niece, during these final years of life, I was only able to find solace in nature. As outlined in my trust, I wish to leave my entire fortune to the preservation of the national parks. My wealth is safely buried in the location trust that you'll find. My 10 favorite parks provide the way and the stars illuminate the path. <clears throat> okay. No. Uncle Paul. So basically this rich billionaire or whatever died and he left his trust. He left all his money to be dedicated towards the national parks. In this escape room, we'll have 10 puzzles to solve. And uh, the 10 national parks that he found. And um, yeah, now we're going to start. All right, we'll start with Arches National Park in Utah, since that's the first one that appears okay. on our decoder thing. So I forgot, do, do we need to like look up answers on the phone? Well, yeah. it doesn't say you need the app. An uh, app, okay. Uh, give me the info. Okay. So I grabbed the Arches National Park in Utah sheet. And on the back is the puzzle. Which we'll be working on. Right, and then we got some scratch paper in and case pencil. We need it. Okay, and we're gonna try to preserve the puzzles if possible. So, okay. Arches it, National Park established 1929, uh, area 76,670 acres. And these are the amount of visitors. With more than 2,000 natural sandstone arches within its boundaries, Arches National Park contains the highest density of arches in the world. The red rock arches accompany soaring pinnacles, huge fins, and delicately balanced rocks, making the landscape truly unlike any other place on Earth. These natural rock sculptures began to form 65 million years ago and have been refined since then by wind, rain, and ice. For thousands of years, humans have explored Arches' wonderlands, honoring its minority as evident in the many Native American petroglyphs found throughout the park. Vis visitors can enjoy many of the sites with a scenic drive through the park, uh, and hike the very varying difficulties to notable arches, okay? So that's the description, I guess. Uh, here's and the, there's some pictures. Yeah, here's the sand dune arch and the landscape wow. arch. We've never that's been to this beautiful. place before. But it seems cool. There's some pictures. I think this was one that we were trying to go last time, but I think this is one that you need to take a boat to. Uh, oh, yeah, it might be. It might be. So we have all these cards, which we're probably going to use. Okay. And um, just to let you know, there are some clues in the back on this sheet. In case uh, we get stumped, we can refer to it. And then um, their website, uh, they have the answers. Okay. So let's solve the first puzzle. 
Um, what's this? S A C L U A D E C M U. Oh, so there's already one sheet. And this is going to spell out a phrase, I guess, or maybe a sentence. Well, that's a long yeah. sentence or phrase. Okay, so ambu is taped on already. So that's a piece that they didn't give to us. So let's see. Do some have to go sideways to fit? Yeah, maybe there's two words. I don't know, but... Um, oh, wait, some are yeah. side, side by side, huh? Some are up and down. First of all, how many letters can fit? Oh, yeah. Let's letter. see if they all fit. Maybe it's a square? I don't know. Or a rectangle. Hi, Nick. Oh, it's Nick likes videos again. Hello, Nick. Okay, so Nick, we're doing uh, like a escape uh -huh. room type of thing. I'm just saying what where can I fit think it's what? a square. I think it's a five by five square. Just fitting this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. it's five by five. Five by five. So. And it spells four, four words, I think. Is there is there the same amount of letters? No. I don't Let's think see. so. So we're trying to solve. Um, I don't think This so. one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 20 letters here. One, two, three, four, five. Five by four. Yeah, 20. Yeah, the uh, can't do anything because uh, some pictures. Okay, so on. all these letters will fit exactly in that thing. Okay, so you read up here, right? On the top of this sheet, there is some information on the national park. Um, is there any information on this sheet? Oh, the well, like what's that? Traditional. traditional Navajo. Adage. Adage. So maybe like a saying. Like a. Can we look Can anything this, up? Is this going to be in English? Yeah, it'll be in English. Okay, well, the first word is five letters long, so it should take up the whole line. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, five. And then five. and then five again, so what? And it'll go here. And then oh, is that two. Oh, up? Which will go? That'll be two letters. I know. Up, we is don't it? have the Or P. us, maybe? Us? You. Oh yeah, me. maybe. Maybe us might work. Us. Us and. And then after. So yeah, us and something or three letter or well, love. Oh look, it's five by five, so five five. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. works. Yeah, that works. Us. Wait, the, no, 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 us, no, us. That doesn't make sense. Us. And us. And yeah, and. Can you do and mm -hmm. us and? Well, five letter M A makes oh makes us oh yeah makes us makes us something makes us with an A in the middle. How oh, about the poem? I know. Oh, death. No, death. Oh, death. Death makes us. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, um, there's spoilers. Spoilers, okay. If you want to solve this by your own, on your own. Stop watching the video, and you can watch our review video that we're going to be posting later. Um, or you can just uh, uh, make these little sheets with the letters and try to solve it. No, you won't be able to buy it. <laughs> well, yeah, but you can easily oh, just write it down. Sure a little bit. And, and plus, they won't have everything. Oh, nobody's equal. Okay. Oh, yeah, equal. Wait, us. Equal, yeah. Equal. Makes us all equal. Oh, um, there, I got it. Death makes us all equal. What does that mean? That means everyone dies. <laughs> right? Everyone's equal in a sense. Like some people might be rich, some people might be poor, but we're all equal that we're all going to die someday. Yeah. Okay, so let's write this. Out of charges? Yeah, oh, yeah. let's write this. Don't so, write. Write. Okay, then we solved the first out of 10 puzzles. Okay, Death cool. That was pretty easy. Now, I've... do we do anything with this? Mm. Oh, you know what I think this is? I think this is at the end. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what they uh, said. How? That's what uh, they said. And then you put it over, uh -huh. right? Yeah. I think. 
Something like that, I think. Oh, you put it over and you see what you're... But we're not writing on it. Why don't we just write on it? No, actually, it's, it's not fitting. Hmm. Wait, what was the sentence? Oh, oh, maybe flip it. Oh. Maybe it's a different... Uh... That is not going to work. Is that? So that's not it? Okay, so anyway, we can figure that out later. Okay, so we solved the first puzzle. That was oh. very simple. Alright, on to the next puzzle. So where we, oh, okay, let's put these away. Wait, what does this say? Oh, Read for my legacy, then use the posters to visit 10 national parks solving puzzles, deciphering a secret message at each location. Write the secret message from each park in the space that's provided on for my legacy. Okay. Okay. Once all the messages are solved, the stars will lead you the way to finish the find. Here. Here's the next. Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde? Uh huh. That's next. No, Yellowstone is next. Oh, Yellowstone? Okay. Wait, 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 wait how did you. I just Those grabbed the top. Yeah. Or did we get it from the bottom? No, but that one was on the. Oh. Oh, right. well, just, yeah, it's not in the order, so do you want to go, we're doing the order Yeah, we're we'll doing that order. Okay. Next is Yellowstone. Yellowstone? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so for those of you who just joined us, we're doing a Finder Seekers Escape Room Box, uh, and this one is on National um, Parks. Oh, here, Yellowstone. Okay, so we just solved the puzzle at Arches National Park. Does it matter what order they are? All right, and now we're going to Yellowstone. Yellowstone, we've never been here either. Maybe we'll but I'm next... hoping we can go yeah, there. Maybe next summer. Yellowstone next National summer. Park established oh. 1872. Area this many acres, visitors this many. That's a lot of visitors. On March 1st, 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant signed into law the preservation of Yellowstone and established it as the nation's first national park. It is known for its diverse wildlife and geothermal features, such as geyser, geysers, geysers, hot springs, and pots. Oh, hot springs. And fomarols. Thermals? Thermals. Wait, what? Fomarols. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. The most visited attraction in the park is the cone geyser, Old Faithful, that erupts over 150 feet in the air every 90 minutes. Hundreds of species of mammals, fish, reptiles, and amphibians roam the park freely, in, including, including the largest and oldest herd of bison in the United States. Its highest caldera, caldera, a dormant supervolcano. That's just cool information about the park, I guess. I don't think that's important to the puzzle. So this is the clues, and this is the map of Yellowstone Park in 1872. Oh, look at this geyser. I know, yeah, it's so pretty. But we're okay, how many words is this? Two, three, four. How many letters? Eight. Eight letters. Eight letters. Okay. Well, you see, these are the eight clues, probably. Oh, so one for each, each letter. Each one has one letter, and oh, here's yeah. the map of Yellowstone National Park in oh. 1872. Oh, okay. okay, so Lower Falls to, hold on. Is this like? Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to one of these dots. All right, Lower Falls to Mount Langford. How do you get there? So Where's Lower Falls? Here, Lower Falls to Mount Langford. Oh, here. So maybe if I like, does this pass by a letter? Maybe no. not. P? Passes by a P. Yeah, how does this work? Hmm. Or what? do you think after you draw all the lines, it'll be a word? Maybe no. not, huh? No. Oh, yeah, because, okay. It's one for each. It's one for each clue. Mm -hmm. One letter for each clue. Is that an L? Is, is that an L? It looks like an L. How about let's look for the next one first okay. and see what... Madison yeah. R to Madison Lake. It's from... Oh, here. Madison... Yeah. R? What's Madison R? <laughs> oh, here. River. Road. River. River. Oh, okay. Madison River 
to Madison Lake. They're, they oh, it's an R, maybe? Because it, pa it it cuts through the letter R. Okay, maybe we can just write it down, just in case. Just in case, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Lower Falls to Mount Langford right, passes through sorry. the letter P. Okay, P. so P-R, we write down so far. Oh, maybe on Scramble. Maybe. Or, yeah. Okay, so write down. Know. Mount Doan. Oh, how about this? Right on the back, and then the back, the other side would be all the answers. Mount Doan to South Hot Springs. Where's Mount Doan? Mount Doan. Oh, it's North Hot Springs? Oh, South. South Hot Springs. Upper Hot Springs, North. Oh, South Hot Springs. Mount Doan, here. Um, so, what does pass the if oops, wait, where is it? Wait, Mount Doan and Mount Stevenson both share the same dot, huh? Hmm. Oh, maybe they're in the same place. Maybe. Or maybe there are two different names. Maybe. Okay, that's an E. Okay, right now, E. Okay, that's an E. Okay. Oh, I think we're Heart, getting some. Heart Lake to Lonely Mountie. <laughs> Heart Lake, which is. Uh, what is a mountie? Here's heart. Mount? Lake. No, mountie. Oh no, S. Yeah, that's an S. Is this preschool? Uh, no, it's not. What or? Oh, boo, because I want to know if you finished the fifth box. Yeah. You did. You finished the whole set. Yeah. Okay. All right. Finish. Okay. Hey, it says P R E S. Is that president? Oh, maybe because it's first the president made it the first national. We'll park. see. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Uh, lower falls well, it has to, to pass. Be eight letters. Lower falls to pass. What is pass? That's an E. That's an E. Yeah, that's an E. It passes through the letter E. Oh, it might be present. Ooh, it still can be present. Mount Washburn to Pelican Creek. Wait, for president is nine letters. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Oh, present. That works, yeah. Maybe. Oh, oh wait, hold on. So Mount Washburn no. to Pelican Creek. Hi, Vince. Sorry, I just saw you right Mount minutes. Washburn. Where's Pelican Creek? I've been checking the chat. Mm -hmm. Just the Oh, here's Pelican. Right now we're doing um we're doing a Yellowstone National Park. Well, just a national park. Oh, R R R. Oh, R. What's that? Preserve. Preserve. This is what we have so far. Preserve. Two more. Mount Langford to Upper Yellowstone R. Yeah, it's preserve. preserve? It's preserve. Maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe. Okay, Mount Langford. To Upper Yellowstone R. Where is that? Oh, river. Right there. So from here to there, it passes through the letter V. Yeah, preserve. Okay, let's just do the last one. Okay. White Mountain. Hot springs to Heart Lake. Ooh, hot springs. Ooh, White Mountain Hot Springs I and know. Heart Lake. Oh, that's probably. Yeah, that's where's hot Heart Lake? Springs. Where's Heart Lake? Oh no, that's a glider. Brother, where's Heart Lake? Heart Lake is here. Whoa! Wow, well, that's a big jump. Oh, we were supposed to use this thing. Really? <laughs> <laughs> because this is the ruler. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, actually, no. this one's too thick, so it's harder to read. Right. I'm going to use this. White Mountain Hot Springs to where? Hartley. Oh, here. E, yeah. I'm right. Yeah, preserve. It through the letter it's e. preserve. Okay. I was and right. the answer is preserve. I knew it. I don't know how I knew it. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. All right, what's the next... Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. But this is, you have to separate this with a line or something. So. Or, just, or something. Or you can just put one, two, or just, yeah, just do whatever you kind of know. 
All right, next uh, is Denali. What's Denali? Uh, I'm not sure. We can Denali read about it. Mountain. Is it? No. Oh, wait, brother, you have something called Molly of Denali? Um, okay, okay, so. Whoa, this is cool. Yeah. It's in the, it's in Alaska, I think. Uh huh. Oh, that's the. That's uh, about Denali. Okay, and that's the uh, Northern Lights. Yep. Oh, I hope we can read it. Ready? I'm going to read it. Sure. I'm going to read it. Oh, no, it's a word search. All right. Oh. <clears throat> Den Denali National Park. This is puzzle three out of ten. Not Denali. While Denali National Park is known most for its Grand Peak that reaches 20,310 feet, making it the tallest mountain in North America. The park is actually over 6 million acres of diverse wilderness. For over 11,000 years, the area was inhabited by Native Alaskan tribes, who named it Denali, meaning the high one. Today, the park offers very few roads and trails in an attempt to maintain the natural habitat. So, perhaps the best way to experience Denali is by air, where the vast glacier fields and mountain peaks can be seen and fully appreciated. Because of the extreme elevation of Denali, the mountain peak is more often than not hidden behind clouds, and visitors consider themselves lucky to catch a glimpse. While most guests explore the park in the warmer summer months, Denali is open year-round and offers unique winter activities, including drag sledding and viewing Aurora Borealis, Northern Light. Here's a view of Denali from Byers Lake and um, Nena River. Okay, those are the fun facts, and now to the main puzzle. Okay, so we have Doodle Buddy that we can... Take a photo and then do the word search on Doodle Buddy. Um, Alright, brother, I'm gonna go drink some water. I don't know what, because look, I don't know what words we're supposed to find. Is there any clue on here? What's this totem pole doing there? Oh, uh, there's some constellation signs. So maybe, let's say, how do you do Doodle Buddy? Where's the camera? How do you do it, buddy? Okay, so instead of writing on this puzzle. Yeah, since we want to try this. Yeah, we're going to try to preserve it. So I'm going to use this app called Doodle Buddy and take a photo of the puzzle. And then that way we can draw on the, let's see, how do you do it? Background. <laughs> Camera. All right. I got it. And I can, I can do the putting picture. The problem is okay, so I we took know. a. Follow of this thing, and the we're gonna try. Problem is that I don't know. Right here. What? Oh yeah, how many words that might? How help many letters? Uh -huh. How many words? Uh, I... There's two words. So for Denali, there's gonna be two words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters in the first one. One, two, three, six letter in the second word. So five. Oh, yeah, and, and there's, there's two, two of these things. constellations or whatever. So those might be clues. So maybe this is the first word and this is the second oh, word. Oh, I, I know. I know how to solve this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there yes. are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yes. letters. So you want to find a letter and then you want to go across, across, up like that. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, that's okay. what I thought. Yeah, okay. So... So that's going to be difficult. Because look, I don't know what we're supposed to find. Mm -hmm. So look around. Okay. okay, so the first word is going to have this pattern. The look second word's gonna thing. have this pattern and they should make sense when you combine the two words. So it's basically just two words, which is simple. It's just I don't know where to find. Is there any clues on here? Like there's a totem pole, but I don't know what it means besides all these dots. No, so we should find. No, a... like uh, what oh. else does the totem pole? Like there's well, gotta be some clues. Is it these two pictures? No, I think we just gotta find. Because I don't know where to put. Okay, so let's look around on this to try to look for letter, 
something that can spell out two words. Uh, but in this pattern. Wow, you almost oh. poked my eye. No, I didn't. The <laughs> pencil's way down here. Okay. No, you did. It was. Well, you see. Wait. No. Well, first of all, the the first letter cannot be on the top row yes, or the bottom row. Correct. And. You can look in that. Uh huh. Yeah. And it cannot be on the last four columns. So it cannot start on the last. It cannot start on the last. Okay, article. but it could end there, so yeah, we don't we don't want to cover it up then. Okay. So basically, it just starts here. Uh, okay, brother, um, here, here, brother, here, brother. You you check, you check these two rows first. Okay, yeah. so go through each yeah. letter. I'll make my way. I'll do the middle two, and okay. you can do these two. And wait, then, so I do these we'll, two rows? Oh, wait, you, you do the last three. Okay, I'll do so, so what you can do is look at three letters first, and go up, like, to see if they make, make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, all right. So I'll start from Brother, the bottom. Brother, you do, you do the second and mm -hmm. the third row. Okay, I'll, do, I'll start from the bottom. Oh, I found it. You did? Glacier. Oh, yeah. Glacier. Of course. Okay, cool. Glacier. Yeah. Glacier oh, yeah. is the first one, so I can write that down. Okay. So far, this is a lot easier than uh, the Paris one, huh? Okay, and then the second word, it has to be in two rows. I know, but they're It can, on the it can be on any row except the top. I mean, the first letter. The first letter. Yeah, the first letter cannot start on the top. I'll check these three. Brother, okay. check the... All right, I'll, I'll check. For just me. you two check. Okay. Wait, I'm writing it Oh, is this it? Canyon? C A. Glacier Canyon? No, no. C A. Oh, yeah. Glacier. Yeah, here. Glacier Canyon. Found it. Oh, good. Glacier Canyon. Okay. Well. Okay. So we okay, solved... we solved the. Okay, we actually got that. Yeah. Glacier Canyon. Okay. okay. Next one is which part? Great um, Smoky National Park. Yeah, Great Smoky. Key Mountains is next. By the way, uh, we want to do the advertisement for the National Park Annual Pass, which is super cheap. It's only $80. And you it's can worth visit. it. It's yeah, it's totally worth it. You can visit so many national parks. And if you are in fourth grade, you can get the pass for free by going to the National Park website. Okay. So we just bought our own National Park Pass. For the year. Um, in September. And so far, we visited, I think, three national parks. All right, so Great Smoky National Mountains is in North Carolina and Tennessee. Okay, and take it away. Great Smoky Mountains National Park, established 1934, which was during the Great Depression, I guess. Straddling the state line between Tennessee and North Carolina lies Great Smoky Mountains National Park. The range is part of the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is a division of the larger Appalachian mountain chain. The park contains some of the highest peaks in eastern North America. In eastern North America? Or that should be North America. Huh? Maybe, yeah. And is the most visited national park in the country. Really? But I've never heard of it, so how can it... Okay, well, whatever. Hiking is the most popular activity in the park with over 880 miles of trails to explore, including 70 miles of the Appalachian Trail. With 95% of the land being forested, it is home to a diverse ecosystem of plant and animal life. A healthy population of 1,500 black bears inhabit the park and are regularly seen by visitors and allowed to roam freely. Here's hi, Cheryl. I just want to say hi to our viewer. Here's the Blue Ridge Parkway, and wow, this looks cool. Lynn Camp Prawn Cascades. Uh -huh. I trust you received my postcard. Okay. What's that supposed to mean? This one. 
Oh, yeah. So there's these letters. Oh, wait, how, what's seven. the... Oh, it's um, two words, four letters each. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's Great Smoky Mountain, huh? It's, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here, look. double-sided. Yeah, it's yeah, and they're so, so I guess one side is one word and the other side is another oh, word. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, yeah. Okay, okay. let's do that. Is there anything else that can help us? No. Okay, let's see. What's the first letter? How many? It looks like oh, fish. Oh, four. Fish? Wait, yeah. Okay. Use the fish? Use the fish? <laughs> what does use the fish mean? I don't know. Because look, it's only to, four letters. To the sun? They're both four letters. That's what? Like, that's something my problem. At the end, is it to the sun? Is that she? She, fish, she? go to... Health? Is that health? Is this pig Latin? No. Pig Latin means a walk. Let's see. What is it here? Let me see what's on the back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Is it I think this? The, yeah. Uh, flip it back. I think that U goes here. So use. Oh. The, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. use the flash. Oh, flashlight! Light. This. Provided. Um, to re reveal. To reveal. Um, the. Secret, see, secret, wait, seek, wait, to reveal the secret, um, word, no, secret of the sun, sun. okay. Here's the flashlight. The sun. Oh, it, is it like a okay? I I have a feeling something really cool is about to happen. So wait, so yeah. what do you do? I'm going to turn on the flashlight. There we go. And I'm going to reveal the secret of the sun. Wait, what? Nothing happened. I thought something really cool would happen. Or maybe you you shine it through the, the bottom. <gasps> oh my goodness. It, oh wow. Lake Hayes. Does the camera see that? Lake Hayes. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah. Lake oh, Hayes. Oh, oh, yeah, no, it, it, yeah, it, 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 it. Lake Hayes. Wow, this is a cool thing. Wow. This is the first time. Okay, this this is the coolest puzzle so far. Here we go. Lake Hayes. So the answer for arches was so, was something about death. Death makes us all equal. Yellowstone was preserved. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, arches was death makes us all equal. Yellowstone was preserve. Denali was glacier canyon. And now Great Smoky Mountains is Lake Hayes, I think. Uh -huh. Okay, we've done four out of ten puzzles now, so we'll do one more, and then I want to take like a two-minute break or something. Okay, next Intermission one. after that. Carl's Bad Caverns. Okay. Carl's Bad Caverns. We've been there. You can watch. No, never mind. You cannot insert. Yeah, I can later on. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can look up our Carl's Bad Caverns video. Or you Here can just watch the whole review and get the links from there. Fifth. Puzzle out of 10, Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico. I think this is the only one on the list that we've been to before. Okay, and I'm going uh, to read the the short facts. Okay, and it's going to be five letters. Okay, the, the, the answer is five letters. Yeah. 
Hidden beneath, okay. Hidden beneath Earth's surface, Carlsbad Caverns National Park contains a network of over 100 caves that formed over 250 million years ago when sulfuric acid dissolved limestone underground, creating large empty caverns. Over the next several millions of years, rainwater and snow melt seeped into the caverns leaving layers of calcium carbonate that developed into rock formations such as stalactites and stalagmites. Visitors are lowered 750 feet underground using a large elevator, oh, we've been on that elevator, into the main cavern where they can wander miles of trails through room after room of cave formations. Carlsbad Caverns is also home to around 400,000 Mexican free-tailed bats that leave the cave at dusk to search for food. The whirlwind frenzy can be viewed each night in late May through October when the bats are in residence. Okay, okay. Uh, here's the whale's mouth formation and the veals and stalagmites over here. You can take a look at that while we solve the puzzle. Okay, so the the answer to this one is a five-letter word, and interestingly enough, there are five animals here. So I think each animal should give us one well, letter. You see, each one is a bat, but they're oh, different. Oh, species. I know. This is a V. This is a W. Oh, yeah. This is e. a... Yeah, this is an E or something, or maybe an F. Uh, this one is... I don't know what letter this is. Maybe a L? No. M? M? Mm. No, this is an M. No, this one's an M. Yeah. This oh. one's an M. This is a W. This is a V. And we unscramble it. This? What letter do you guys think this is? And also this one. Let's see. A doesn't work. B? No. C? No. D? E? I think this might be an E. E? Yeah, because this... So it's five letters, know. right? Yeah. V. So that's an M, you think? Or is that O? Oh, my P. Oh. Um, o? And that's an M? O? No, this has got to be an M. No, what's yeah. this? This has more... Because this is more round. I think they're trying to fool you with all these... What is that D? Is that, does this spell train? No. Uh, this is a V. V, W, M, E. Because there has to be a vowel. I'll give you that. Yeah. There has to be a vowel. So this either not an E and this one's an O or this one is an E and this one's an M. Uh, whatever that letter is. I don't know. This just uh, doesn't... What's this night... Oh, okay. Could That's this be like a R? Right? No. No. This is hard. Hmm. I don't want to use a hint because we've been doing so good. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't gotten any hits yet. Oh, what letter do you think that is? M? No, this is a W. This is definitely a W. This has to be an M. Legs. This has to be a V. These two, I'm not sure. Okay. Is there what word has W and V in it? Weave? Oh, W E A? It... No. No, that can't be. Well, what does bats do? Oh. It's got to be something to do with. Bats right? are useless animals. They don't do anything. They do. They eat mosquitoes. Well, mosquitoes are useless, too. They're equally useless. Well, mosquitoes will come more if they... Well, there's more mosquitoes. Bats come them. alive at night. Why is night underlined? Is that the answer? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I think we have to use a hint. No, because look. What's... This is the L... I don't know. That's the L, though. I don't know. Uh, if you want to look at, oh, where's the hint? It's it's a, no, don't. Don't look at hint. We're doing so good. No. Oh, we're doing is this so a, good. Just a little hint. Here, here, here. Just, no, 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 here. No, I'm gonna do it. Make sure we cover so we don't see everything. It's not in order. 
Which park is this? This is Carl's back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to look at hint. the hint. They I write everything it. backwards, so you don't accidentally see it. Hmm, okay, it's a turn off the lights. The answer is a word. Oh, oh, maybe it glows in the dark. Oh. Here, you know what? I'm just going to go to the closet. Okay. I'll be right back. I want to come. I can't miss it. Okay, so the two of them are going to somewhere dark to take a peek. Because, um... Maybe might be like a glow in the dark kind of thing. Wait, we need the flashlight. Need flashlight? It's too dark in there. Okay. I see it glowing. Okay. I see it glowing, but we need the Okay, so the kids are, they brought the uh, sheet to a closet, so it's darker, and they suspect that maybe it's like a glow-in-the-dark um, kind of thing on the paper. So let's wait for them to come back to report to us. Right. No, 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 no. We see letters, but it's not dark. Yeah, there's an there. O, there's an N, there's. It's not dark enough in there. Oh, I'm gonna go even deeper down into the closet. Okay. Okay, I can't miss it. Okay. All right. So, so they see some letters on um, that on the clue sheet, uh, but I guess they were just like um, so they're going deeper into the closet so that it's darker. So hopefully they can see the glow in the dark stuff that's written on the clue sheet. So once they come back, they'll report to us the answer to the fifth puzzle. Okay, I can hear them chit-chatting. Sound is coming. Okay. Guano! Guano! Bat poop! Bat poop! What? Guano is another word for bat poop. How do you know? How do you know that? Glowing. Yeah, but how, how does he know it's... Because I know. Because, um, wild crafts. Okay. So yeah, we... this, it, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, this was a N somehow. Yeah, yeah, it did glow in the dark. That was really, really, really... Oh, that's oh cool. that makes sense because it's a cave. Yeah. It's a cave. So you have to go to somewhere dark. Okay, cool. That guano. Okay. Woohoo, we got okay. it. Just guano. Okay, cool. guano. Right, right that was cool. A puzzle. Yeah, that was the that was coolest a cool one. yet. All right. Actually, there the the um the last one was cool too. Which one was it? Denali. What was Denali? Oh, the flashcard. Oh yeah, this yes. the the shining the flashlight and also the the one where it glows in the dark. Those two are really clever. Okay, puzzles. I'm going back in the closet they're actually, after we're done with this escape room. They're they're so. almost as clever as the exit the exit escape room puzzle. Carl's back. Don't bounce another game. So Come so on. so will we have um no if we didn't look at the clue? No. I mean I guess we I guess, we, makes I guess sense yeah, because yeah, it makes sense. Cave. Yeah, we didn't think hard enough. Okay, so now we're about fifty percent of the way done? Yeah, guano. Alright, okay, so yes. Uh, so far I think we're doing way better uh, than in the last one. Yeah. Okay, this Mesa one. Verde. Oh, it's another five letter word. This is a national park in Colorado, and it looks like Native American cliff dwellings. I'm going to read the facts once again for puzzle number six oh, it's out of ten. X. For over 700 years, the ancestral Pueblo people built and lived in the community, now preserved, get off there, okay. in Mesa Verde National Park. More than 600 dwellings built from stand, sandstone and adobe survive today and can be viewed in the park. The best known structures in Mesa Verde are found in Cliff Palace, where approximately 125 Puebloans lived and, construct, and constructed 150 rooms and 23 kivas. Other preserved artifacts 
give insight to the life and culture of Mesa Verde's early inhabitants and are on display at the Visitor and Research Center. Intricate pottery, baskets, clothing, tools, and rock art all illustrate the high level of utility, design, and spiritually valued by the ancestral Pueblos. Okay, there's the facts, or the fun facts, I guess. Oh, look at this balcony house, brother. Coming, I was eating. Would you like to live in there? Well, that looks nice. Montezuma Valley. That's That, that looks crazy. Okay, we have once again a five letter word and there Wait. there happened to be five potteries. I thought we were doing an intermission after that. That's I mean we can do one more. Okay. There are five potteries and we need a five letter word. So how should we solve this one? You see, this pattern matches here, so it has to do with pattern. Oh, yeah, there's five here. Okay. There's five different patterns on each pot. This one for sure goes there. This one has to go down here, probably. Um, this one has to go, yeah, something like that. Yeah, where do I put everything? Because, look, these two are the same. Hmm. This one's hard. And what are all these little diamonds do? Okay, Don't tell me, me we need another hit. Yeah, this one's kind of tough, huh? This how, one's how, many not... how many letters? Five letters, Five. right? So each one's one letter. Mm -hmm. And you probably have to We're use doing this pottery. as like a decoder. Yeah. It's the an is the answer pottery? No. Face? Face? I don't know. Pottery poop? Adobe? I don't know. Oh! Adobe. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is Adobe, but we don't have any. Uh, yeah, we don't have like, any. Alright, do we, we see, have do we see this symbol? Th this shape anywhere? Mm, here? Oh! Hmm. Maybe how many patterns Ooh, I know. are on yeah. each one? Maybe we see where the pattern locates, and then we draw a line, and it creates a letter. Or something. Oh, maybe. So. Oh, let's do doodle let's... buddy. No, no, no. We Take can just do it with our hands. No. Okay. So this um, one goes here. Oh wait, where's this pattern? It's up there. Oh here. Oh yeah. So here to there, and then where's this one? This one. Oh. And the X is. Where's the X's? It might be in the little ones. Hmm, I don't see the X's. Oh, here, X. X and the diamond. That okay. creates... Like a... It's not a complete C, though. But it's close. It's like a... What's that letter? Oh. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go to the All next right. one. I think we're... we're, we're okay, we're, yeah, I think we're on the right track. So we start with... This one then? Mm -hmm. Where's that? This pattern. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Okay. And we go down first to yeah, this down. diamond uh -huh. and yeah. this way. Yeah, it's an L. But that's a. S Wait, where did it's, you start? Here, right? Oh, so yeah, that's an L. L. That's okay. an L. So maybe a C and then an L. Okay. Clay? Mm -hmm. oh, maybe. Okay. Here's the diamond, which is over here. No, it's not a clay. And it goes okay. down to this pattern. That's just the I. Or is that an L? What? What? Uh, maybe that's an I. So we have probably a C and then an L uh, and an I. Cliff? Cliff, maybe. Oh, like cliff dwelling? Cliff dwelling. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a cliff. Okay, well, let's just keep going. This is that. over here yeah uh -huh. and it goes to, to the, the dots. dots and then if it's an L. oh and down here down here to up here, here. yeah so wait I'm... here yeah uh, hold on hold on hold on wait oh 
Oh, it's earth. Come yeah, on, I'm confused. It's earth. It has to be cliff. Okay. Um, uh, can I do the last one? Yeah. And it goes okay. back. So here. Oh yeah. Okay, there. that's it. Go down. Go down. And go. Yep. F. A cliff. Are right. you sure? Uh-huh. By the way, we never actually checked all the answers. I, I, I'm pretty sure we got it right so far, but do you think we need to check the answers? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, hold on. I'll do it. No, why don't we do it at the end? Okay, we'll do it at the end. Right. Okay, so we're pretty sure that the answer to this puzzle is Cliff. And if so, then I'm really happy that we didn't have to use a hint to get there. Okay, so you write down. What, what national park? Is Mesa Verde National Park. We only have four more. Okay, what's the next Are, one? How long have we been live streaming now? Oh, 51 minutes. We're doing very no, good. No, we're doing well. The, the last one we did for Paris. Two <laughs> hours and... 18 minutes, right? I, I forgot, but next? it's exactly something. What's the next one? Uh, Crater Lake in Oregon. Ooh, we we were almost going to go there one summer, I think, but then we ended up not going. I think when Mark got sick or something like that. Somebody got in yeah. our family. It's got a sick. castle trip, something like okay, that. Okay, here. Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. Do you think they like hand drew these? Maybe. If well, it is, that's very well done. These are like the postcards that you, you collect. Oh yeah, postcards. It could be. It could be the same artist. Crater Lake National Park, as observed by Native Americans and recounted as legend of generations, Mount Maz Mazama violently erupted 7,700 years ago, spewing ash and lava, then collapsed into itself. The volcano lost about a mile of its height and created a crater that eventually filled with crystal clear blue water from rain and snow. With its steepest point, of, with its steepest point of 1,949 feet, Crater Lake is the deepest freshwater lake in the United States. The north of the lake is a vast pumice desert consisting of a thick layer of ash that is devoid of plant life, even after thousands of years. Due to the poor water retention and soil quality, Crater Lake National Park provides visitors first-hand observation and an immersive experience learning about the life cycle and anatomy of anatomy. anatomy of volcanoes. Its natural beauty is ever evolving and through dominant and through dorm oh and though dormant today, Mount Mazama will likely see volcanic activity again, changing the landscape once more. I didn't know that Crater Lake was an actual crater that was filled with water. Oh yeah, but and we just went down a crater. Oh yeah, so and you can watch that by clicking. Um, I think it's up here. Yeah, we haven't edited it yet. Yeah, we haven't. So. We but, haven't released that video, but, but it yeah, was fun. we were re it was fun. we were recently at Death Valley National Park and we climbed down a five hundred foot crater. That was crazy. Uh -huh. It was crazy. So this is crater that's filled with water. Now. Yep. <laughs> so we have to find a two word answer with four no, letters. No, I think it's numbers this time. A two. No, no it's, word. Yeah, it's gonna be a word. A two word answer with four letters in each word. So I'm guessing that each of these is a letter. And okay. what is this? This is also part of the puzzle. What does this say? The caldera was created in a massive volcanic eruption between 6,000 and 8,000 years ago. About 12 cubic miles of this thingy was erected in this event. Lava eruptions later created a central platform, Wizard Island, Merriam Cone, and other small volcanic features. Eventually, the caldera cold, cooled, allowing rain and snow to accumulate and form a lake. Okay, so it's four that's, all, four. that's all good, but I don't know what... This map has to do something. This is the map of Crater Lake. Maybe, but see down here? Maybe it's irrelevant. Maybe we just like... A map. Like this would be... What fruit is that? That's great. So maybe G? I don't know. <laughs> no, it has is, to do with this. Is that things. too easy? Wait, there's a number two. That's 11. Oh, yeah, I just realized. Or do you think that's a, the first letter in grape, the sixth letter in ghosts, and so on? But it has to but do with no this. there's no six letters. There's only five letters in ghosts. And oh. what's this? A magic wand? Wand, yeah. Eighth mm. letter. That's not possible. That's an N. And is there something that starts with N here? 
Okay, so is there something, maybe a grape something? Oh, wizard, oh, wizard island, wizard and wand. This. But e why is this a number this eight? An eagle. Oh, the eighth letter of wizard island. Oh! Oh, okay. S? Okay, I'm getting my paper. Okay. Okay, then so. this will be a S. S? Okay. S. Uh, the watch? Where's that? Oh, the Watchman. Eleventh letter. N. Ghost is. Where's the ghost one? Gasky? No, that's no. Kosky. Can I track? Yeah. yeah, where's the ghost one? Oh, Phantom. Yeah, Phantom. Yeah, Phantom Ship. Which that's is... the sixth letter. That'll be. Oh, 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 yeah. Grape is wine glass, I think. Yeah. So W. Ice cream snow. Okay, so the first one is snow. snow. Ice cream snow plow? Where's the ice cream? Mm. Oh, Merriam yeah. Cone. Oh, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a cone. So, M. Okay, the feather. Snow melt me. The feather. Oh, Eagle Point. Uh, E. Yep, it's snow melt. The gate. What about the gate? Which one is the gate? Oh, steel, maybe? Yeah. Steel bay. Okay, so the fourth letter in steel bay is the E? Snow? Oh. Snow meat? Snow meat? And lastly, well, that could oh, be wrong, but it's fine. Right. And lastly, the crown. Oh, oh okay. apple gate. Gate. Apple oh, gate. yeah, yeah. Oh, then that's it's an L. L. Yep, it's snow melt. <laughs> Okay, and lastly, the crown, Pumice Castle, one, two, three, four, tea. five, six. Yep, t yeah, yeah, T, T. Okay, we got it. This was S N O W M E L T. Snow yes. Okay, cool. What's the next Wait, one? what national park was that? Crater Lake. Okay, we didn't one? need a clue. We only have three left. Right, what's also, the next, one? Uh, next is. Oops. Okay, the next one is Virgin Island, and we're going to need a two-word clue. The, f the first word, I mean, a two-word answer. The first word has five letters, and the second word has six letters. So oh, a five-letter and then Island. a six-letter. Oh, this is the turtle. Nice. This is, where is this? Where's St. John? Oh, I'm not sure. Virgin Island is in... Virgin America or whatever that place is called. Yeah, it might be in Virgin. Not Virginia. in the U.S. Yes. Okay. Around sixty percent of Saint John Island is preserved as part of Virgin Islands. Now, well, look how few visitors there are. There's uh, not many. I think because it's so out of the way. Yeah. As well, okay. So as well as more than fifty-five hundred acres around the island and underwater. Well known for its beautiful white sandy beaches, the park also offers excellent scuba diving, snorkeling, and miles of hiking trails through a tropical rainforest. Most of the coral reefs and its delicate animal and plant life have been preserved by incorporating them into the park's boundaries. Along Reef Bay Trail, the hikers can discover pre-Columbian petroglyph carvings by the indigenous Tanyo evidence of the long history of inhabitants on the island. Visitors can also hike to the ruins of Annaberg, an old sugar plantation, and see demonstrations of turning sugarcane into molasses. Here's Trunk Bay. That that looks like one of those classic, iconic tropical islands. Yeah, it looks, it looks like Hawaii, the place where we went to snorkeling at one time. And Bath's Cave Rocks. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need two words. The first word has five letters. The second one, word has six letters. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here. All right. You guys can start figuring it out. I'm gonna go drink. Okay. Water. All right. I think I know this one. Kinda. So what? I think we look for a shape. Yeah. Something like that, and mm -hmm. then that's that's the. The place where you find the letter. Yeah. Like for example, like this one here is probably this one, right? And then the second letter, I think. Which right. is the big dot, which is L. Yeah, I think. Okay, I'll just write it down if we're yeah. right. 
Okay, so I think that's how this puzzle goes. Okay, let's start with the first, yeah, first one. one. But which, oh, here, this shape. Yeah, that one. Which letter is that? And the, uh, so, the C. Okay. Yeah, this one seems pretty easy. C. The last one was pretty good. What's this one? What oh, this it's one? this. The, that. No, no but that's that not that shape. Be. Is it one of these? This one? Oh, yeah. So, that'll be the, oh. Cove? Maybe. No, no. Since it's okay. five. This one? This shape. Yeah, that shape, which is the top. What is this? It's R. So you want to look for a shape, like for example, that is, I think it's this shape, and you look oh. at the whatever letter that oh. is. Oh! Okay, that one's R, so C-O-R. This one is... Oh, that's from here, right? No, like that is sideways. Alright, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> you, you look for a shape, mm -hmm. and then... It's a number of letters, like for example, this, this one. This one is that shape, but I don't know which one. It's this, right? So that's an N? Oh, this one here? Yeah. I think no, this... I'm... Oh, no, I'm this one would be an F. Yeah, that's F. Oh, this? Uh -huh. This is here, coastal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's too late. I forgot yeah. about those. Coastal. So, no, so that would be the A, because it's the second to last letter. Good. A? Oh, coral. I think oh, that one's coral. an L. So that one, yep, L. So coral. Wait, 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 wait. What's what? It's coral because that one. It's why a, is that an L? Because the big dot is on the F. Oh. Okay. This one is. What did you say? F. This. F. Which is um. Yeah, I think it's close enough to be an F. Coral. Something. Okay, where's this shape? Which one? This shape. That, this one? Uh... Wait, which one? Wait, this little one. Oh, yeah, oh that's that the same as this same. one. Was it this one? Yeah, it was that. Wait, was it? Yeah. Yeah. That's shape. So, which letter? That's the U again, is it? It's the U again? No, it was the O. Yeah, this time it's... it's... Is it the O? Wait, why the O? That was the same as okay. last time. Second dot, right? Alright. Or I thought that would mean the last dot, but whatever. So cool. Oh, this, one? this one again. Is that the R this, this time? Yeah, that, it's, this time it's the very last one. The R. R, yeah. Okay. So. Okay, Oof. this shape, where's coral. this shape? Forest. Oh, it's here. It's no. the E. The yeah, E. Coral forest. E. Here, where's oh, yeah. this shape? Forest. That one? Well. Is it that? We haven't got Oh, yeah, there's a, yeah, it's a S, S, S. There's an S here. And yep. lastly, a T. a T. It's a T. A T. Okay. Coral Force. Yes, Coral Force. Hey, okay, yes, we got it. Woohoo! Yeah, there's still more about, uh, what, we just solved puzzle number seven? Right? No, that was eight. Okay, so we still, we're 80% done with the puzzles. So yeah. you're okay. here in time for 20% more of the video. Uh-huh. Wait, which, uh, the Spurgeon? Island. Okay, so what's the next, uh, so in all do, right now we're solving, we're playing, um, we're playing Finder Seekers. It's a monthly, subs su uh, monthly subscription box. We have quite a few of them. That's an escape room. Yeah, it's kind of like an escape room. And Except that the instructions are very clear in this subscription yeah. escape room, okay. which is why we like it. And we're doing national parks today. That's a theme of this box. National parks. So we've gone to Arches, Yellowstone, Denali, Great Smoky Mountains, Carlsbad Caverns, Mesa Verde, Crater Lake, Virgin Islands, and now we're at Everglades, which has a very all long. Of this. Okay. With just the answers. Okay, Everglades National Park in Florida. Okay, bye bye, Nick. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Bye. bye. What's here? Everglades National Park was uniquely established to protect a fragile natural ecosystem rather than a distinct landmark or geographic formation. The park is an intricate network of wetlands and forests fed by an ever-flowing river in its habitat for over 750 species of birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles. 
36 of these species are endangered and federally protected, including the Florida panther, American crocodile, and West Indian manatee. Ooh. In addition to hiking and guided tram tours, visitors can explore the park on a fun airboat guided expedition. Because of its dark skies designation, the park is also ideal for stargazing and sky observation. Okay, so this is how you oh, solve look, it. Look, here are the wetlands, and here look. is a lake. So, underground train, you fill it in, and those black boxes are the letters. Okay. Need, but what's this got to do with the park? I don't know. Well, because the word you spell has got to something to do with the park. Okay. Yeah. How many letters? Yeah. It's a long one. It's a very That's long one. Well, yeah, but we yeah. know which one's. Yeah. Okay, so Black. underground tra train is subway. Oh, right? yeah, that's right. Award so is subway? trophy. Wait, so subway or I just have to put sub? Yeah, just sub. Yeah, sub. Oh, submarine? Maybe. I don't know. And then trophy. Was that? Award? Is that trophy a trophy? Or ribbon. R I B B O N or trophy T R O or prize? Yeah, oh this yeah the prize. prizes. No. No, I think it's a, either trophy. We can skip that. Let's skip that okay. first. Ordinary, normal. Common. C O M M. Oh, common. Normal. Yeah. No. Ordinary. Okay, so if the first were sub, and sub tro. Well, uh, oh, subtropical. <laughs> Trophy, T R O P. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's gonna be trophy, okay? Mm. So then this. Echo. Echo. So what's the ordinary? Uh, typical. Oh, oh yeah, typical. Yeah. So subtropical. Yeah, subtropical something. Cool. And then one more word, right? What's subtropical? Wait, hold on. Let's see. Subtropical. Yes. And one piece or two. Oh, is this older? Older and wider. Yeah, older. I or expert. Um, professional. No. Okay, so what's wiser? Older. Older. L. L. So yeah, in the middle works. is L D E R. So in the middle of the next word o -D. is L D E R. So tropical. L, L, Wait, so what letters are in that one? L D E R. Older. I don't know. I don't know what this one is. What is that? One piece of the suit. One piece of two. One. Piece. What's one piece or two? What's a synonym for that? I don't know. We but, can do it later. But, but if we look at this, tropic, subtropical. Well, it's only two letters. You see. Subtropical, L D L there. Here we're just paying attention to this subtropical. Um, what I what's one what's a synonym for one piece or two? If anybody has any ideas, you can type it in the chat. Yeah, I or expert. This one's pretty tough. Yeah, expert is uh, pro. It's one of the word for I. Clever. No. Hmm. Yeah, it's not. One piece. Let's or not two. get any. subtropical. What? What? What word comes after subtropical? Subtropical. How many letters? Is it? Two, right? Rainforest. No. No. So subtropical is two letters and four at least. That's still a lot of letters. Subtropical something. Subtropical. And then something river. Someone, please help. Cause there, are, there's people still watching. That's all I. It's cold river, maybe subtropical cold river. <laughs> colder, colder, colder. Something uh, old under. Oh. No. Cold boulder. Colder. Boulder. Colder rain? No. Terrain? Terrain? No. no. Colder uh, rain? What's one piece or two? I don't know. Hmm. Should we look at the hints? Multiple? Yeah, we, well, no, but the hints will just say to, like, I don't know. No, let's not get any hints. 
Yeah, I don't know what to do. Does anyone out there watching know what is one piece or two? I think we're the only It's just one. us. <laughs> yeah, it's just one person. Or uh, I, or expert. I have no idea. At least we get content. Okay. All right. I'll look at the hint then. Yeah. Um, okay. What is this? Everglade. Everglade. Yep. Okay. The bold. Don't play. All right. We know this already. The bold um sp spaces. Uh, two, two, two words. We know that. Oh, and then the next is just the answers. Okay. Yeah. Let's just get the answers. You want to give an answer? Well, no, no. no. Let's, let's, let's give it a bit more effort first. Give it all we got. This oh. is tropical. Oh, let's look it up on Google. So yeah, that's what it. I'll do. Uh, so I'll type up subtropical and see what. I'll works. do it too. All right. Yeah, why don't you do that then? In case this. Oh, you have to use the new uh, thingy on here. Climate? No, we cannot be. Desert? No. No. Hmm. I'm typing in the so L G E R two. Aquarium? No. Beaches? No, it ends with L E E. Country? I'm looking up too. Or you can also look up one piece or two or something like that. Evergreen, is it? Subtropical environment. No. Islands. Hmm. Yes, we're playing live right now, Animal Dude. Uh, yeah, so this, this is a live video. So once we're done, it, it will just be, it'll be there. But uh, we are doing like a um, review video right after this. We're going to film a separate video with just the reviews. I typed in one piece or two, but this popped up. I don't know what this is. Mm. Look at this. This is one piece or two. Okay. Put in this. Here it is. Alive, safe, unscathed, unhurt, uninjured. Okay, I'm doing another one. I'll do the other one. Uh, Synonym is for expert. Wait, what, what did you say? Uh, I... An I or expert? Now, do a synonym for expert, I guess. Yeah. Is it rainforest? Subtropical rainforest? Could it be? No. Uh, so, what kind of stumped here? Uh, so, anyone watching, we're trying to. Wait, an I? So, like, yeah, an like orthodontist? A... Or what, what do you call those things? Uh, yeah, yeah orthodontist. I or expert? No. X. Hurt. Is it temperature? Would be so trouble no. temperature. No. Expert synonym. Yeah. Specialist. It, it just ends with L D E R. Okay. Specialist. Well, in the middle. Okay. Um, skilled. Skilled. Or no. I. Does that make sense? Specialist. Authority. Um. Cracker Jack. This is really hard. Even the internet isn't helping. Trained. Oh, maybe. Trained. You train your T R A I N E D. Let's see. Yeah, T R T. Just fill it in for What's the last word? Trained. The last word is what? Here? Yeah, the last word would train T R A I. I. N-E-D. Subtropical. No, it doesn't. Hold the ring. It doesn't mean. Or maybe the middle one is not correct. Yeah. What was the middle one? 
Older. And wiser. Older. That's what we put. Older. No, but older and wiser is the same. Yeah. Hmm. I'm stuck. Okay, should we look at the answers? Yeah. No. What? Well, I'm we cannot be here down. all day. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Can I? No, no, no. Look at I'll look at the close one letter at a time. Okay. okay. All right. So this sheet gives us the answers, but everything's like written backwards, so you can't see it by accident. You kind of have to like. Okay. The answers. So. What's the first word that we have? Subtra. Subway. Okay. Second one is. I'm just looking at trophy. Trophy. Uh huh. Third one is. Typical. Uh huh. Next one is. That's the one that we don't know, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so it is starts with a S, W, I, Swimming, One piece of, M, Swimsuit, is it? Oh, Swimsuit, you get one piece or two Swimsuit. Okay, so Swimsuit, I think. Yeah, Swimsuit, I just look. All right, so, so that's swimsuit. a W, W, I. What? Wilder. Okay, so maybe with that we can know. Wilderness. Oh, wilderness. So I or expert will be. Oh, witness. Eyewitness. An uh, expert. Uh, but is an expert witness? That... Okay, so. so Anyways, we, we got it. Okay, so we kind of had to. Um, yeah, that was so hard. A couple, yeah. Some I didn't like that. Wilderness. Okay. That was yeah. That was the my least favorite. Yeah. Um, Puzzle. All right. Okay. Yeah, but some of some of the other ones were really cool. Like in this one, you had to shine the flashlight to to on the sun. Wait, are we done? Thing. No, I think we have one more. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's the last one? Uh, Wait, what? Arcadia. Oh, Arcadia. Not Arcadia, but Arcadia. Acadia National Park in Maine. Let's read the fast facts. Located on Maine's central south coast, Arcadia? Wait. Uh, Acadia? Oh, then they misspelled no. it here. Acadia National Park protects the natural habitats of the rocky headlands along the Atlantic coastline. Inside the park is a diverse landscape that includes mountains, ocean coastline, co conifer... Coniferous and deciduous, de 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 whatever, woodlands, lakes, ponds, and wetlands. Wait. Central to the park is Cadillac Mountain, which is the tallest mountain on the U.S. eastern coastline and one of the best places to watch the sunrise. Oh, that's deciduous. Okay. Perched on a steep rocky sea cliff is Bass Harbor Headlight, the park's renowned and only lighthouse. Visitors are able to explore the park along the 27-mile Park Loop Road, hiking or through guided boat and kayak tours. Look at this pond. And also... Okay, what's those pictures? Let's see, it says... Oh, these letters we have to unscramble. It's three... Oh, letters. oh, each one is a... That shouldn't be hard. Oh, this one I think goes here. What's in this picture with these letters? And uh, what's in the pic this picture with these letters? What's in this picture with that? Okay, so letters? is that three words? Uh huh. Is our recording messed up? Is it still recording, right? Yeah, it's still recording. Okay. So basically, what we have to do right now is basically first focus on this picture and these letters. Okay. Hey, uh, quiet. Okay. So, we f first have to focus this picture and these letters. What's in this, What's this? picture with these letters? Well, I can't, do you, do you, uh, is, is it, oh, we can use word and scrambler. Yeah. I guess we can use internet. I'm just going to look up word and scrambler. And use them. I'm going to start with the shortest word. Do F Y B V F. What does that unscramble to? No, I'm doing the top one. Yeah. T K. 
Or maybe, hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what these sounds scramble to? Look, I typed in the first set of letters. No, nothing pops up. Because I, I don't think this even makes sense at all. Here, why don't you type them all up together and see what you get. Okay. I typed the first one. C, J, K, N. H J F Z B O B Z F O N J F A U B K V All right, so what's going on? Sorry, I have to take a call. I I don't know. It it does this is so, I think, I don't think you just unscramble. I think you have to mix match everything. No, I, th oh, I, th I think like A becomes this, B becomes, like they take the alphabet and they kind of shift it, everything. Uh, so. Oh, then you need one of those. Um, so yeah, so you're just going to kind of see what, I'm pretty sure that's one of the okay. type of puzzles. Yeah, then the A becomes z table or i'll look up a z b y c x d w images Here, I got one. A, Z, okay, so then C becomes an X. J becomes a Q. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Or what if we do that and we're on Scram? Or A, maybe, maybe it's not C, maybe A is C or, you know, whatever, right? <clears throat> so it's one of those puzzles, I think. Um, okay, well then F, if F became U. But I, I do think, yeah, these three photos might be a clue. F, so, so that's a U, that's a B, Y, U, B, Y. Yeah, no, that's, there's no word. But maybe you unscramble it. No, no, you don't unscramble it. I don't think it's a two-part puzzle. Usually you just, it just show you straight out. Well, then. Okay, maybe, I mean, the word's got to be associated with its part, right? So. I say get a hint. We're, we're not going anywhere. Well, I can get, get a hint. Uh, where's our hint sheet? Oh, it's on the back of this. Mm. All right, cool. This is the last puzzle. Okay. okay. Look closely at the photo of the typewriter. Okay, I think that's a clue. Uh, I'm not gonna look any further. Oh, the the letters are the oh. wrong position. So, so where wherever yes, the so wherever they would normally yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So the C. I don't know what a normal one. Was. Just pretend. I'll go get the keyboard. Oh, we can look at this keyboard. No, the keyboard. No, because I want to keep that off. Oh. No, the keyboard isn't here. It's That's not here. here. It's it's upstairs. Okay. But look, look, look. Ah, okay. That was... Look, I changed the setting to this. Okay. Now, so that was up. yeah. We should have been more observant and caught that. Yeah, um, hey, you missed it. That's right. The cheesecake. Yeah, going all the way up. 
Wait, that's not that. You should have been more. I was telling you guys to look at the cake bowls. Yes, I got it. Alex. All right. So now we can now we can do it. Okay. I'm going to get the thing. This is going to take a while though. First, I'll write it on this side. Uh, P. Can I help? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll do the letters for you, and I'll just tell them. Where's the J? Oh, A. Okay. K. Where's K? There. K would be N. 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 Will be a o. Uh, o. Uh, o. Pano. Panorama. Okay, H. Where's H on here? Which will be R. R. Wait. J. J is A. Panorama. Z is M. Panorama. Panoramic. And B. B would become a O. O. No, no. I. I. Yeah, I feel we could have solved this, huh? If we were yeah. more observant. Yeah. C. Panoramic. Okay, so the first word is panoramic. O. C. Wait, what? C. Okay. O. A. Um, where's the F? Where's the F on here? Where's the F on here? Uh, here. Okay, so the F on the wrong keyboard S. is actually a S. Coast? Is that a coast, maybe? Coastal? Panoramic really coast. Coastal? Let's see, this one is... What? T. Coastline? Is it? Mm -hmm. L. L. What? L. Coast. Uh, B, which will be uh, okay. I. Yeah, coastline. Oh, wait, let's just check. That's the panoramic coast line, probably, I guess. Maybe. Wait, where's the We're almost there. We, we just have. Yep, and, and then. Yeah, yeah and coastline. Pretty... Okay, and the last word, so panoramic coastline. What? S. Sure. Yeah. Y, which is here. K. S, K. Skies? Let's see. B. Yeah, it's a I. I. Panoramic coastline. And C, which is. Where's the V on here? Oh, here? That's an E. Yep. Just do the last one. F. Yes, yep. Yes, panoramic coastline skies. There, that is the last, uh, that's the last puzzle. We have now solved all 10 visited, visited 10 national parks. Okay. And, and then we're all I guess, all right, but, but Wait, what do we do now? So I think maybe you put it over that, but first of all, does that even match up? And then if so, we can maybe just kind of look at what letter would be on each one. Hmm. What was that thing that we just did? What? Oh, what? Uh, the National Park? That was Acadia National yeah, Park yeah. in Maine. Acadia, A C A D I. Uh, or do you think some of these mean Oh, something? here. I, I was able to match it up. See? All the boxes fit perfectly. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe we can put just a little tap dot on it, then we'll know which one to look for. Okay, yeah. And then we won't have to write it. Ten. And then we can erase a little dot there. Yeah. Okay. So wait, Acadia's answer was. 
Okay, I what guess because pen because pen we're already? preserving the game, normally you normally you could just read off the letters, but but we're going to have to put little dots. I what, guess. Was it, was Close it? to lie, uh, Scott. What? Oh, a... four people. Oh, somebody joined. So Mia, who said, hey. Yeah, this is live, Sonia. Otherwise, it will say premiering. Yeah, this is live. So this is live, live, not a premiere. So if it wasn't live, then yeah. we. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Well, I guess we could have have filmed this and, <laughs> and premiered it, huh? Hey, we haven't said it. Okay, so just there we one, go. Okay, so one little dot, and then we'll erase it later. Okay. All right. So let's look at all the, all the ones that are yeah. dots. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I do it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, it's so, so. Oh, and then let's write it down on one final down. thing. Okay. Arches. The first. So it's D. Um, it's a Death Valley. Um, Yellowstone is a P. No, D A. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's an no, L. I mean L. I'm sorry. D L. <laughs> Stop D -L. it. D L P. D L P. Okay. D -L Stop. A. That's an A. A. This one is uh, R. N. R and N. And but this doesn't make sense. Or maybe it's going to scramble it? Uh, all right, well, let's just yeah. do this first. The part. Okay, where were you? Um, okay, so I just finished the Nolly. So now, Great Smoky Mountains, which is... That's a K. Okay. We can always look over the... Oh, I know. It's this order, maybe. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, maybe it's a, the order of the... That's fine. We, okay. Yeah. K... And then we're gonna have troubles. Yeah, yeah. We should have just. Uh, <sighs> no, no, we, we can try to. All right. Let's so, K. Worst case, we write it down. All right. So, jump back here from Australia. Oh. There. Wait, wait. Okay. Here, 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 here. It's Let's morning do... down there, but it's. Uh, Is it morning? No, it's Australia? like nighttime. Well, he said good morning. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Maybe it is morning. Yeah. So anyway, it's 10 a.m. 10 a.m. there. Okay, so anyway, John, we are playing uh, like an escape room type of thing, puzzle thing. Find your uh, seekers. We've done uh -huh. one of these before. Uh, and we're doing an another one. And this one is on U.S. National Parks. Uh -huh. And we're actually, we've done, we've finished solving the 10 puzzles. And now with the 10 answers, we're trying, uh, we're trying to, to get the final word. Which is very hard. Yeah. Okay. Here, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a. I said hi to the yeah. I'm gonna put D, L, and P is there. And then A, R, N. Oh, he said hi. And K. Thank you for supporting us on. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you, John. Carlsbad Caverns. Carlsbad Caverns. What's the What's, what's the middle? Thing, right? Carlsbad Caverns. Oh yeah, that's an A then. What's this? A. Dipe. That dipe. Dipe. Aren't. Mesa Verde. Where's Mesa Verde? That would be a C and an cliff, I. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it was cliff. C I. A lot of these puzzles are pretty nice. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Wait, Crater Lake. Uh, that would be an M. Virgin, Virgin Islands. C and C and A. M. C A. Oh shoot! I never, I never um. Put the dot there. A forest second to last letter S. 
from Everglades. Oh no, Everglades was a nightmare. All right. Uh, one, two. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Three. That's an O. O. Three. I see A. O A. O A. Um. The wilderness second letter I. What's the f wilder? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Fourth to last letter of wilderness is an N. Okay, one more row to write down, and then I'll just... Just trace that. Oh, uh, yeah. Arcadia was... No, Arcadia National Park was panoramic coastline skies. This is like the meta puzzle, right? Yeah. Um, panoramic. M. Okay, M and then C, M, C, K. K. Okay. All right, I got all of them, and now we just have to draw the constellation, right? Yeah. So, where so I'll just start? start. I'll just start at one of the ends. Okay. Oh, here's wait. Yeah, here's one of the ends. And if it doesn't seem to like it's making sense, then we'll start from the other end. Okay. So this end, the last row would be a uh, M. Uh huh. M second letter A. M A C. Mm. K. Mac. Is it McKinley National Park? Mm -hmm. So, McKinley, Mac, M A C K, and then I N McKin. Is that a national park? McKinley? Uh, I'm still typing it as you speak. McKin. Okay. Well, it has to be. Um, that's an A. I'm gonna go to the couch. Whoa. Whoa. Is it Mackinac Island? Mackinac? What's Mackinac? Mackin wait, hold on. Mac in um A C A C I. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I S, right? Yes. S Huh? Mackinac Island? Mackinac, maybe, but I'll keep on going. That's an L. Oh, yeah, Mackinac, no. I... I'm in. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth row. Fifth row, first letter. A. Yeah. So, Mackinac... And then island. Okay, let's assume that said island. Yeah. Then that would be a D, uh -huh. right? Is that a D? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it says, uh, okay, that's second row, only letter P, Mac, Mac, island, P, third row, A, R, park. Uh, yeah. Okay. Park. Wait, it's not over. Park. There's a random dot over. Oh, maybe that's a Here space. Is. Park. Okay. Wait, what row is that now? One, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Park. Um. C. That would be a C. O. M. C O N? Com. Oh, Mackinac Island Park dot com. Oh, dot com. Oh. oh, that's a dot. Okay. So, sh should we go through the yeah, website? Yeah, uh huh. So, so, we decoded the whole thing and it ended up with Mackinac Island 
Park. Park.com. Okay, so I'm going to type it. I just type it in here. I'm going to press enter. Enter. Oh, find your seekers. Oh, there. cool. I'm Park. Good work, seekers. Paul Hammond's clues and puzzles have led you to Mackinac Island, where his fortune lies somewhere buried. Buried. The small island is located on Lake Huron in the state of Michigan. In 1875, the United States government preserved the island and made it the country's second national park. But due to the exit of the island stewards, the War Department, and lack of funding, the island lost its distinction of being a national park just 20 years later. In 1895, Governor John T. Rich successfully petition Congress to turn the park over to the state of Michigan for management. Today, the island is more resort than park, but still has several hidden gems, an old sacred burial cave, rock formations, and fort homes. But you're here on a mission to find Paul Hammond's fortune and save the gates of the Arctic from suffering a similar, similar fate as Mackinac Island. You explore the island starting at the Stewart Home Museum. It's here that things start to come together. In the lobby of the museum, you see a portrait of none other than Paul Hammond, honoring the museum's top donor. You speak to the museum's director about the painting and your reason for coming to the island. She shows you some peculiar paint daubs on the back of the painting. For years, museum staff have tried to decipher their meaning, but none have been able to crack it. And here's a... Oh, it's oh. another puzzle? Oh, it's just one without a sour. Okay, so one final puzzle here. But it's fine. It, it looks easy. Okay. What do you have to do? It, it's... Here. Oh, I need this. Okay. Okay, and now for one final puzzle. If you can see over here, the red dots, the red dots on this thing refer to the letters we put on here. We didn't actually write on this paper because we want to preserve the game, but most people would just you yeah. know, write it down. But that's fine because we wrote the answers down on this. Um, okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to decode that real quick and then we're done. Okay. Wow, didn't expect this final puzzle. Yeah, this set was really fun in the mode, dude. Um, final Seekers, this is our second one. The first one we did was on Paris. And yeah, they are the puzzles aren't too tough, and then um, and they're really fun, and they give you it's not one of those escape rooms where you spend like forty minutes trying to figure out what you need to do. Everything's like very straightforward, so that's what we like about it. And yeah, we hope to do more of these. And also on my yeah, channel, yeah. yeah, also on my channel, Generation X. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing, well, I plan on doing more, um, like, escape room, um, like, live playthroughs. If you go to my channel, I did one on this game here called the Crinkle Caper. It's, it's kind of like a Santa and, like, a Christmas-related escape room. It's just a little simple deck Virgin of cards, Island. but it's very fun. So you can look for that video uh, by going to Generation X. Uh, you can link it from Lucas Blogging. Um, you can look for my channel there. And I did like a live playthrough. And I also did a review of this game. Yeah, and that's my plan for 2021 is to do a lot more escape room live playthroughs on my channel. Or, you know, if the kids have time, we can do some here on this channel. Yeah, I do have a room, a, a closet full of escape room puzzles. Yeah, one, it's called Squeak and Sausage that has this very scary clown. <laughs> Arch Rock. Okay, so we type it in, right? And hit submit. And it will be done, I hope. Yep, Arch Rock. Okay. That was the answer. All right, you want to type it into the phone? Yeah. Okay. Arch... Rock, submit, congratulations. You climb to the secluded arch rock on Mackinac Island with Hammond's niece in search of the fortune. As soon as you begin your approach, uh, begin your approach, your handheld metal detector beeps instantly. Underneath the arch, you uncover over 100 gold bars. 
worth more than enough to keep the gates of the Arctic running and preserved for years to come. Good work, Seeker. To learn more about Gates of the Arctic National Park, visit here. And that's it. Okay, cool. So okay. We we're, done, we're done visiting 10 national parks. Our favorite puzzles, um, one of them was from Great Smoky Mountains when you, where's the flashlight? Yeah, we took the flashlight, we shined it over this thing. What are you going to say? Let's shine the light up. Oh, yeah. Here. And it spelled out, I mean, it, a word. You see that? So that was one of them. And then the other puzzle, oh, yeah, the other puzzle was the, the, the cave one. The cave one. Was, oh, yeah, the cave one. So these animals, if you take them inside a dark closet, then each of the animals will light up with a letter. And that was also very fun. Okay, so, um, yeah, thank you again for watching. Yeah, and we'll... Yeah, that's it, right? And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.